Hello Libra, welcome to another love reading. This one will be all about the energies between you and the person that you are thinking about, connecting with, or will be connecting with. Keep in mind that these readings are general, so you know the drill. They will not resonate for every Libra watching. All right, let's jump right in for Libra spirits. What do we need to know for Libra? What do we need to know? What's going on in this connection? Let's start there. What's going on in the connection between Libra and their person? Three of Cups reverse. What's going on in this connection? Spirit between Libra and their person. The Emperor, Aries energy. What's going on in this connection between Libra and their person? Ten of Wands reverse. Okay, so I feel like there's a, some sort of burden here and I think it perhaps is an interference of some sort. It could be a person. It could be anything that interferes in your connection. It's causing a burden. I'm sorry about that in the background. That's my dog, Henry, shaking. Um, you could be dealing with an Aries. does not have to be. It just could be a masculine energy that you are dealing with here. But typically, the emperor takes charge of a situation, addresses a problem, uh, fights back. You know, they... they are wise and measured and decisive, you know? So I feel like this is someone that wants to do something about what's going on. Now, this is what's going on in your connection. So both of your energies are here. So this could be how you're feeling towards about this problem or your person. I will clarify more, but page of swords. Maybe you need to talk things out. Maybe information, communication is important. Clarity is important. Page of Swords is also an investigator. Maybe this is someone that's figuring something out about this. So let's get some insight into your energy. Tell me about Libra. Tell me about Libra's energy, Spirit. Tell me about Libra's energy. Four of Swords, Reverse. Tell me about Libra's energy. Tell me about Libra's energy. Tell me about Libra. Nine of Wands, Reverse. Hmm, you're over something. Tell me about this other person, this person that Libra is dealing with. What do we need to know? What do we need to know about them? Seven of Wands, what is going on? What do we need to know about this person that Libra is, has, or will be dealing with? Spirit, what do we need to know about this other person? Seven of Cups reversed. Okay, I feel like there, it's almost like you feel differently about something. You've done maybe a lot of reflecting, thinking, healing about something. You're no longer guarded or defensive. Maybe you don't care anymore. Maybe you're over it, like I said. We'll have to see what's going on there. Now, your person has a Seven of Wands and the Seven of Cups reversed. Now, sevens are sevens an interesting number because it can mean uh, knowledge, awareness, you know, knowing something, uh, having clarity about something, um, analyzing, reflecting. That's the number seven. I mean, it has many meanings. But so with the seven of wands, this is someone that I feel is fighting for something that they're aware of. Uh, with the seven of cups reverse could be that they've made a decision about something. They've chosen a cup. And now they're willing to fight for it. Um, there's an option that they've chosen here and they're going to fight any obstacle that gets in the way. So it's almost like I'm getting very opposite, opposite, opposite energies between you and this person. This person could be the emperor, the person you're dealing with here. Feel free to flip these energies, by the way, if it um, resonates more for you. But at this seven of wands is definitely emperor energy. Like the emperor would definitely take charge of the situation, fight back defend their ground, um, stand up to any challenge, any obstacle. So we'll see what's going on here. Let's get some insight here on the situation, the energies in this connection. Spirit, tell me about the energies in this connection between Libra and the person they're thinking about dealing with at this time. What do we need to know? 
about their connection? What do we need to know about their connection at this time? Okay. Open, inviting, and expressive. There's that page of swords energy. Someone is uh, speaking up here or needing to speak up. What do we need to know? Bountiful harvest, growth, abundance, patience. Plant seeds, now watch them grow and enjoy the fruits of your labor. Hmm, I feel like whatever this is, it would build something. There's potential for growth, potential for something to uh, grow. Romantic, charming, and passionate. What else do we need to know about this connection? Hmm, I feel like this is a confession. Like someone confessing their feelings or... Someone on their very best behavior. Masculine, yeah. There's that emperor energy. I feel like someone's on their very best behavior. Honest, sincere, and genuine at the bottom of the deck. Being very honest with you about something. I don't know if this is someone new or someone that you've been dealing with here, Libra. But again, I get the sense that this is someone that's going to make something happen. Maybe they're starting with communication here. Let's get some clarity. I need some clarity guidance for Libra. What do we need to know? What do we need to know? Tell me about this Three of Cups reverse. Why is the Three of Cups reverse? Judgment and death, Scorpio energy. Oh my goodness. What, why is this Ten of Wands reverse? Why is Ten of Wands reverse? Ace of Cups. Why is the Ten of Wands reverse? The Hierophant, Taurus energy. OMG. Tell me about the Emperor and then I'll kind of look at or talk about what I'm seeing. Why is the Emperor here? Why is the Emperor here? Two of Cups. Why is the Emperor here? Why is the Emperor here? Queen of Swords. Okay. Five of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Exactly. This Emperor is making up for something or fixing a problem that I feel they themselves created. I have two very specific messages and you feel free to put yourself in whatever situation actually fits for you. The first message that I got is that this person got caught doing something that they shouldn't have done and everything ended because of it. And whatever they didn't give you before, they are more than willing to give it to you now. They're even willing to tell you the complete and honest truth, something they weren't able to give you before. And they're doing this because they want a second chance. They want this problem fixed. Uh, this emperor, I'm telling you right now, they do not want to lose. They do not want to lose. Um, I feel like they don't want you to drop the rope. They don't want you to be done with them. They don't want you to be... Uh, they don't want this to be over. That's the first message that I'm getting. The second message is that I feel this person, maybe they promised you or dangled a carrot in front of you about the third party. I really love you, even though I'm with them. I really don't want to be over there. I prefer to be here. They dangled that carrot in front of you. They told you you're the only one for me. But they have not let go of the third party. It has not ended. And I feel like there was an ultimatum. Maybe you told them that either they end the third party situation or you're done. And now they're scrambling. Those are the two messages that I'm getting. We'll see if that changes the more that I look into this reading here. Let's look at your energies. Tell me about the Four of Swords and the Nine of Wands. Reverse. 
Tell me about the four swords reverse and the nine of wands reverse. What can you tell me about these energies? Yep, five of swords. Tell me about the four swords reverse and the nine of wands reverse. The high priestess. I feel like you were kept in the dark or you were suspicious because you know that you don't have all the facts. You don't have everything that you need to really decide something. Um, and I think you've got tired of that. Tell me about the four swords reverse and the nine of wands reverse. The moon. Yeah, you've, you've been in the dark here. Pisces energy. Five of swords. You were kept in the dark. No matter which scenario this is, you were kept in the dark. And I feel like, again, they dangled a carrot in front of you. They made you, they kept you engaged or interested. Yeah, Ace of Wands. It's going to be different. Something new is going to happen. Don't worry. I got this. Um, let's get some insight into your energy. Tell me more about Libra's energy. Now, Libra, I have you on this side and your person on the other. Feel free to flip them if they resonate more for you. Tell me about Libra's energy. Tell me about Libra's energy. What do we need to know about Libra's energy? The lamb and the butterfly. Yeah, I feel like you... Okay, the starfish, yep. The butterfly is all about changes, endings, transformations, basically this death card. And the lamb is all about receiving a message. This is a message from a person, a friend, a coworker, a angel, something. You found something out or your intuition told you something. Spirit could have delivered a message to you that all that glitters isn't gold. That the situation was not what it seemed. That there's something that you're not seeing clearly. You got that message. I'm speaking to a Libra that received this message or will receive this message soon. Tell me more. Tell me more about Libra's energy. Tell me more about Libra's energy. This emperor is coming to you on their very best behavior. They're pulling all the stops, Libra. Concern. Oh, yeah. I think you smelled it. You smelled it. You already um, had an, in an inclination that something was off. Or you're concerned. You know, maybe if they come forward with this, these all these apologies, maybe they tug at your heartstrings. But deep down, you're like, can I even trust this person? Is that even possible? Tell me about the Seven of Wands and the Seven of Cups reverse. Tell me about the Seven of Wands and the Seven of Cups reverse. The Magician and the Two of Pentacles, okay? Tell me about the Seven of Wands and the Seven of Cups reverse. Yeah, they, this person has been forced to make a choice. No matter which group you fall under, the Chariots, Cancer Energy, if they were caught doing something they shouldn't have been doing, they were forced to decide what they truly wanted. If this person dangled a carrot in front of you and they never delivered, you probably pushed them to make a choice because you removed yourself from that situation most likely. And now this person's almost like, okay, what choice do I make? Because I need to choose a path here. Yeah, there's the Four of Pentacles. I feel like this person goes back and forth because no matter what they do, they have something to lose. Yep, there's the devil. Capricorn energy. This person is stuck in a situation of their own making. And the only way to get out of it is to leave it behind. But that requires this choice. They would have to choose. And I think it's a choice between two people or two very different situations. Something like that. They would have to choose. Um, but I also get the sense with, with this two of pentacles. It's almost like they're wondering, how can I have my cake and eat it too? How can I make a the decision that once I leave, the ceiling will not cave right on top of my chariot, you know? Can I get some insight into this person's energy? This person that Libra is, has, or will be dealing with. What do we need to know? I'm working on myself. Tell me more about this person. Tell me more about this person. 
what are their energies when it comes to Libra or this connection? The main male. What are their energies? What are their energies when it comes to Libra? False person, yeah. I think they presented themselves as this mature man, this emperor energy. But I don't know. Maybe they're working on themselves so that they are that person. But they really screwed up with you here. Because I think what they did was so bad. <laughs> or you can see them for who they truly are now. And it's very hard to see the person they're trying to present themselves to be. What else do we need to know about this person? The cheetah. Oh yeah, they're moving quickly. Chariot and cheetah are two energies that are very like moving quickly. Yeah, I feel this person is like desperately trying to get something done. They are working hard and quickly. Let me get a stellar soulmate. I get one more for this person. I get one more for this person. I get one more energy. I also make I also get the sense that this person maybe they want to make the choice. Maybe they want to manifest this departure or this movement forward. But they're being held back by this devil energy. The Capricorn energy here that we have with the devil and it's like restriction. Ties, bonds, attachments. It's not so easy to disentangle themselves. And I, I think maybe they were living in a little bit of denial, to be honest. Maybe they really believed the story they told you. Can I get some insight on this person's energies towards Libra? What do we need to know about this person's energies towards Libra? Destiny will help us find each other. I must confess that I am in love with you at the bottom of the deck. Oh yeah, they're, they're going to be coming in with a goal in mind. You know, we're meant to be Libra. Yes, we are apart now, but that won't be for long, you know. And I feel like this person, maybe they are being sincere and genuine now. Honest with you about their feelings or intentions, you know. But I feel like it's like too little too late because... The trust is broken. That's really what I'm picking up here. So that's what I have for you, Libra. I'm going to take this to the extended now because I want to know where all of this is headed. Uh, what can you expect next in this connection? Where is all of this? Where is this connection headed in the near future? If you're curious about that, I'm also going to be looking at uh, that chariot because I think that that chariot is going to make or break this whole situation, <laughs> to be perfectly honest with you. Um, they can come to you with all the nicest words and kindest gestures and most genuine intentions, right? But it's really going to determine, the action is really going to determine if this is something that can be salvaged. 